Hey folks, Phil Gallagher here, looking to have a more interactive game than yesterday. Um, if Swords to Plowshares is good, our hand is amazing. If Swords to Plowshares is bad, our hand is medium minus. This would be a pretty sweet five card hand though. So even if we're playing against something like show and tell or something like that where the Swords of Plowshares aren't super relevant, we still have some things working for us. Uh, box or depths. Probably depths. Uh, so the good news is our hand is stellar versus depths. And I have a wealth of resources here. So my opponent's line there where they're willing to use Lotus Petal as Sylvan's Crying on one makes me think that they have Vampire Hex Mage in hand. So if I tap out for something, they will just go Hex Mage, Depths, or like play Depths, cast Hex Mage, create a 2020. And I think I have that pretty well beaten with like double source of Plowshares and Revoker. I get attacked from a bunch of different angles. In case I'm wrong and that is not what they have, I'm going to play out my Thalia. Ooh, chosen to duress. Yeah, that's fine. You can have a source of plowshares. I have another one right around the corner. I'm gonna have to think about what I want to do on my turn. Lol. Lol. Okay. So I kind of want to waste my opponent's herb work, put them on zero mana, put Tomek into play, and just aggro them out rather than playing patiently with this wasteland. <laughs> yeah. That one looks real good. All right. Path is a yes. Relic Order for Needle is probably fine. Council's Judgment for similar reasons is probably good. Palace Jailer is fine. I don't really like Surgical Extraction in this matchup, but we may end up playing it. Um... Uh, like, you, you have so many things that just go and kill a Merit Lodge that you don't necessarily need to try and fight the Graveyard Axis as well. You can, you can get some free wins off it, but I don't think you need to be hunting for free wins when you're so favored against a deck. Now, you don't want to get cocky and put yourself into a losing situation or anything, but... Food for thought. Um, I'm going to assume that my opponent is not on a Hogak version. Uh, those versions haven't been particularly popular right now. So they're playing traditional. I'll probably want to cut Sword of Fire and Ice. Cut a couple of Stoneforge Mystics. Probably cut my Sanctum Prelate. It's not particularly good when I would want to name one a lot of the time to stop like crop rotations. And putting it on two doesn't seem like really high enough impact. Um, that puts me at 61. I'm usually not boarding in a Relic Warder. So what do I want to do with this last slot? Hmm. 
Most of the cards that are still in the deck are relatively good. I may just cut the Brimaz or the Brightling. Both have advantages. Brightling can gain life, putting me over 20. Both can attack into Vampire Hex Mage safely. I think I'm going to cut the Brimaz. And if you look at how much trouble I have making cuts at this point, this is why I'm not bringing in Surgical, right? Like, the cards that are left in the deck, other than maybe, like, Brightling, and you could make arguments for some of the extra copies of Stoneforge, the, the stuff that's in here is of A-plus quality. Chef's Kiss. We have a good mixture of lands, spells, we have interaction from multiple angles, this is great. We have two different ways to get rid of a Merit Lodge, which require different sorts of answers. I'm all about this. Opponent's being so aggressive with these Lotus Petal into Sylvan Scrying lines. Given how many answers I have to them just producing a big idiot, I don't know that that's necessarily correct. Since we can answer a Merit Lodge two different ways, if they just go and try to produce one, we can very safely just play Vile this turn. Long term, this vial is going to do a lot of good. Like, once this gets to three, and we can just, like, have the flicker wisp hanging out as a safety net when we already have all this other stuff, it's good. And, like, mom plus flicker wisp requires a Sajiri step in order to get through it. Um, I don't know what the opponent is supposed to take with this thought. It's easier. That's uh, very legitimately difficult. Best draw might be something like Wasteland, where again I can Wasteland the Urborg and effectively take them off of two mana, then let like Thalia potentially lock them out of the game. Yeah, now that they haven't played a land, if I top deck a Wasteland, I'll, I'll go for that Urborg 100%. Now what? I don't want to expose the Caracas to Wasteland, so we'll wait a turn on that. I could play Vile and hold up Swords to Plowshares. But I think I just kind of like casting Thalia. I wanna I wanna hang out on this screen for a minute. So draw it. I'm gonna have a violet three soon, so I don't think I need to worry about flicker wisp. I am just gonna name human. Let's dump this Thalia into play. I'm going to respond to that by putting in our Mother of Runes, so my opponent can't potentially strip the uh, 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 the counters off my vial if that's something they would want to do. Uh, so that's cool. The 
if I get aggressive here, basically, I'd only be worried about not of this world. I'd like my opponent to start the fight, if at all possible. Villain's crying is fine. Getting a ghost quarter. Yep. This is going to end up working out very well for me. Could have done this, I could have played this a little more tighter by just like responding to the Sylvan's crying. But if I'm being honest, I didn't think they were going to be quite that aggressive. Alright, I did not play around Elvish Spirit Guide in a Not of This World. I thought I had Not of This World beat. Plenty of outs here. Um, that's not one of them, unfortunately. Alright, I wish I would have responded to the Sylvan's Crying by swordsing and then doing the other line that I had. Um, didn't think that it was going to matter because I already had Not of This World beat, um, but that is not the case. Um, I feel like I said there was going to be some play draw adjustment that I was going to make. That might have been in the last video that I recorded, actually. Nope. Eh, um, really not pleased with this hand. I don't have any ways to beat a Merit Lodge as is. I'll be reliant on Vile and port to lock down my opponent's mana. Um, is this better than a five? Not really sure that it is. So it's, it's just like a six card hand with Marin Crusader as the payoff. I think I'm gonna mulligan this one. Awkward tap land is awkward. All right, we'll keep this. Council Judgment is gonna be really hard to cast given my resources. Really just wish this was a Plains.
possible that sending the vial back and just playing a, the tapped human producing land thing, the castle on turn one, is just better than getting the vial. But if I don't keep the vial, then I can't really afford to port. And I need to buy time for this hand to get better. Um, that is a great draw. I think I'm going to play that out and sandbag my Caracas for a turn. And then I can have six through the remainder of this turn pretty safely. My opponent knows the rest of my hand. They have a pithing needle effect. It's very taxed right now between Wasteland Vile and Caracas. That's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful draw. I don't want to proceed. I could Stoneforge fetch Jitte, put Jitte into play this turn. But I honestly kind of like porting. I don't know how much colored mana my opponent has access to right now. Enough is the answer. Since this has first strike, we can't really take advantage of getting Jitte right now. Just going to pass the turn here. Again, sort of wish that castle we had in the opening hand was just a plains. That's awkward. That's very awkward. If I put in the Batter Skull, they take my Jailer 100%. If I don't put in the Batter Skull, then I might be able to get Palace Jailer in play and take over this game. I think if they see my hand, they'll take Palace Jailer, but I kind of want to give them the opportunity to not take Palace Jailer. Oh, geez, that's so weird. Since my Violent 3 does nothing here, I'm going to activate it in response.
No bite. All right, your thoughts, these results. They do take my batter skull. I can Rashad and Ford and open mana, come the end step. All right, yeah, they take, they take the jailer as expected. Multiple first strikers here means that the germ token isn't actually doing a ton. That is almost good. Report down the stage here. If they want to copy something, I want to make them. I want them to do it now. We're doing okay in coming back from our mulligan to five here, but life is scary. So that's that's the dark depths. At this point, we're gonna say always no to that. Okay. So I would like to go to 24 life this turn. So that I don't die to a single merit lodge hit. Council judgment is super awkward. Because I can cast it leaving up Wasteland, but then they can make the Merit Lodge in return, and if they have a Wasteland effect, then I'm just going to die to that. So I don't think I can afford to cast that this turn. But then, what will they do? I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Top decking another white source would be pretty okay. Super happy to just see a fetch land there. Yet another Hex Mage. Okay. Still not exactly a problem. Uh, we're going to keep doing some of these, see if we can get them to blow a Hex Mage at some point and make it so that they're going to think that I'm just bluffing with a lot of these activations. Let's repeat the line from the previous turn. 
pro black. Crash in for another four life. And we'll just pass the turn. We're going to continue to port, but there are arguments to not port and just hold up that extra mana. But I think many of the lines where my opponent beats me involves them actually using that Thespian stage to say, copy my Rashadden port so I can't be holding up Caracas. And we get the GG from the opponent. Yeah, uh, opponent admittedly did flood out a little bit towards the end here. Um, we had some awkwardness between our like mulligan to five and like how constricted we were on white mana. But you know, again, we're really favored in this matchup. Uh, things have to go pretty well for our opponent in order for them to get there. All right, folks, be back tomorrow.